Here's perf problem five solutions for math 243. Um, so we're given that the number of calories consumed by NFL offensive linemen has a mean of 7,000. So in the context of this problem, that's mu and a standard deviation of 2,500, which would be sigma. And it tells us that we have 81 of these people selected at random. So that's our value of n. Um, so I like to kind of go through these and write down the pertinent inf information so that you don't have to keep rereading these problems. Um, so what we have to do in this first one is describe the shape, center, and spread of the sampling distribution for this problem. Um, so first of all, the shape. It's approximately normal. And the reason why is because our value of n is greater than or equal to 30. That's the central limit theorem there. Although you don't have to say it's the central limit theorem. If you just say that n is greater than or equal to 30 and it's approximately normal, you're good. Um, the center of this distribution is going to be 7,000. And that's because the mean of the sampling distribution is just equal to the mean of the population. And this spread will be 2,500 divided by the square root of 81, which is 2,500 over 9 which is something I'm going to put into my calculator. 2,500 divided by 9 gives you 277, and we'll call it 278. And that is because sigma sub x bar, the standard deviation of our sampling distribution, is sigma over the square root of n. Um, all right, and with, that's really the hard part. With that information, it becomes a problem we've seen before, a chapter seven problem. We want to sketch a distribution. So I'll draw a picture. I'll make it approximately normal because I said up here the shape was approximately normal. I'll make the middle 7,000. Uh, spread is 278. That's unfortunate. 7278. Uh, 278 times two is 556. I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then another 278. Uh, let's see, that would add in a 4, and in a 4, and then a 3. Carry the 1, get an 8. 78.34, maybe? I think that's right. Maybe I should use a calculator on these. Um, and then going down, we got 7,000 minus, what did I say the standard deviation was? 278? And that's 67.22. And then we want to subtract another 278. And we get 64.44. And then subtract another 278. And you get 61.66. OK, anyways, um, what do we want? Sketch a distribution, the area that corresponds. Average caloric intake above 7,500. So 7,500 is somewhere in here. We're talking about this area right here. Um, in this area, we can get in two ways. We can either do um, normal CDF, nor mole CDF, and then tell it our lower bound, which is 7,500. Our upper bound, just put in some very, very large number. You can use scientific notation if you want. Um, our mean, 7,000, uh, and our standard deviation, which is 278. Um, and if you tell your computer or your calculator all that, let's see, I think you get normal CDF. about 
what, 3.6%, you get 0 0.036 or 3.6%. Um, and maybe as a note down here, I can write this in a different color. You could also find the z-score, which would be 7,500 minus 7,000 over our standard deviation of 278. And what that is, sort of a little less than 2, 1.80 we'll call it. And use the tables. If you use the tables, you'll find the area below, and then do 1 minus that to find the area above. Um, but at this point, you guys are pretty good with tables, so I'll just leave it at that. Our answer is, this is, well, I guess the answer is the whole thing, the picture, and then that this area is 3.6%. All right, another problem. Now suppose you do not know the population mean uh, is 7,000. So all we know is that our sample average gave us 7,200. So that is what's called our point estimate. Um, we're trying to create a confidence interval. And what you do with your confidence interval is you kind of start with your best guess, and then you have to go up or down some number of standard deviations. So first of all, we know that the standard deviation is 278. Um, but the question is, how many of those do you want to go up and down? Well, the way we can figure that out is a 95% confidence interval um, is 1.96 standard deviations. So what that's saying is 1.96 standard deviations above and below the mean get you 90, so let me draw a picture. Okay, horrible standard, devi or horrible distribution, but what I'm trying to get at is if you go 1.96 above and below the mean, what you get is 95% in here. So this is what's called our critical value. Um, and it goes here. So what we got to do is figure out what is 1.96 times 278, and that gives you 5,400 or no, 544.88. So if I do 7,200 plus this value, I get my upper limit is 7,700 and maybe 45 if I round this off. And if I do 7,200 minus that number, 66.55 if I round it off. So I get my confidence interval, maybe let's do it this way, is this guy. Um, interpret your answer. The interpretations we're going to use for this class, which is close enough to write, is that we are 95% confident. that the true value for mu, um, which is the caloric intake for NFL offensive linemen, is between 66.55 and 77.45. So we don't know the actual value of mean. I know we assumed it was 7,000 earlier on, but down here we're told we don't know what it is. So we can't, our best guess, what we can do is kind of give an interval and say, all right, it's somewhere between these two numbers. And in fact, we're 95% sure that it's somewhere between those two numbers. Um, all right, that's the end of this example.